So th there's a, I always call it a problem of creativity in the left as it exists right now. So many of them, um, first of all, they either don't take class seriously or they don't take race seriously. It's yeah. one or the other. They don't yeah. really attack them both as being essentially the same issue. But the other problem is that their solutions to the problem are largely, um, we need the government to pay for you know, universal basic income or something like that, or it's just we need to expropriate the wealth of the capitalist class and then somehow a socialist state will spontaneously yeah. emerge. So neither of those solutions are satisfactory. One is impractical and the other one is just going to lead to a bloated uh, welfare state, which yeah. is not what we want. So we saw a lot of room there to kind of give a novel strategy, something that is first of all, grassroots, and also is more dedicated towards uh, building a socialist society from the ground up rather than simply distributing wealth um, in a way that's broader, requires more servility to the state or to the capitalist class or however you want to do it. And also that's very race conscious. That, yeah. that um, you know, draws from this very rich tradition of black American socialism. Yeah. Self-determination. Yes, exactly. Like Fred Hampton's Rainbow Coalition. Right. I think that's another element we're very divided right now and i mean we're divided people are divided all across the world but especially in america right now and instead of ignoring these divisions i think we need to be working through uh, uh working through the divisions and then bringing everybody together you know to a multi-ethnic multi-racial plane of action mm -hmm. and up until now there really hasn't been um I feel like an effort, I mean, really since, you know, Fred Hampton's uh, assassination to do that in a, in a concrete way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with Democratic Socialists of America, every day we have, you know, black Americans who are part of that organization venting to us about not being heard, not being listened to, um, you know, again, this class reductionist, I mean, this is what's plagued the, the American left for you know, decades now. So, you know, we thought, why don't we come in together and, and address, you know, the issues that are disproportionately impacting us, poor and working class black Americans, and link this to an internationalist struggle. I'm struck by that because it seems to me that America's changing. For the last 40, 50 years, leftists have been very narrow. They've chosen yeah. ecology or nuclear war or race even or sexism but been very anxious not to get near the socialism <laughs> not to question capitalism because yeah. it was hard enough to do what they were doing on that particular issue you're not doing that you're going right at the beginning and saying no it's the whole economic system yeah. that we tell us a little bit about how you're going to make that your politics because that that's in the th that's the trick in a way. If we yeah. could bring together the particular single issue groups yeah. to merge around a shared platform of economic but also racial and cultural transformation, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, the sky's the limit as to what you could do. 